Today's news headlines, a man known as Connie G lost his life in Spicy Hill, Trelawney. Ian Jarrett, a 38-year-old man called Connie G, who is a laborer of Spicy Hill in Duncan, Trelawney, was hurt during a shelling's incident and passed away at 1 a.m. at his home on Saturday. The police in Trelawney are currently investigating the shelling's incident, which took the life of a man at his home in Spicy Hill near Duncan Trelawney on Saturday. The man, known as Ian Jarrett, also called Connie G, is a laborer in Duncan's Trelawney and he passed away at 1 a.m. Residents reported hearing loud sounds in the area close to 7 a.m. this morning. Miss Jarrett's sister went to locate him and found him with multiple holes from dangerous tools at the entrance to his board dwelling house. Mr. Jarrett was pronounced at the hospital by the medical team. An unidentified woman was found with multiple holes from dangerous tools in a car belonging to a member of the military. The JDF has said that they are committed to providing the necessary assistance to the JCF with the investigation so as to ensure that they remain consistent with their commitment to the safety, security and well-being of all citizens. The JDF has said that it is supporting a police probe into the passing of a woman who was found last night in a car. The woman was hurt with a dangerous tool. The incident occurred in the San Andrew Central Police Division. The JDF has confirmed that the car in which the woman was found is registered to a member of the military. They have said that they are committed to providing the necessary assistance to the JCF with the investigation so as to ensure that they are consistent with their commitment to the safety, security and well-being of all citizens. They are also requesting that anyone who is aware of what occurred last night to make contact with the JDF tip line at 876-837-888 or call the police 119 emergency number. Further development surrounding the woman who was found in a car belonging to a member of the military. It has been stated that the Jamaica Constabulary Force are currently interviewing the man who owns the car. They said that they are speaking to him as to ascertain the circumstances surrounding the incident. The Jamaica Defense Force member is now talking to police investigators after the woman was found with multiple holes inside his car. The woman was pronounced at the hospital by the medical team. The incident occurred on Caledonia Avenue in Crossroads, St. Andrew. The police have mentioned that they are speaking to the military member to ensure that they have all the necessary information. The military member is not in custody at this time. It was further stated that from all indications, the member of the military would have been at the location and so the police are asking him some questions. The JDF has said that it is cooperating with the police with the investigation was found after losing his mother in Trelawney. A youth of four who was taken by force during a shelling incident in Spicy Hill in Duncan, Trelawney, has now been found. The mother of the youth, Tika Ennis, a 21-year-old woman of Boston, United States, and refuge in Trelawney, lost her life in the incident. Another woman who was also hurt during the shelling incident has been hospitalized in serious condition, while a man who was slightly grazed has been treated. Head of the Trelawney Police Division, Superintendent Carlos Russell is now heading a team that is investigating and searching the area for the unscrupulous individuals who caused harm to these persons. Report coming out of Trelawney is that close to 10.30 a.m., a group of unscrupulous individuals went to a vicinity in Spicy Hill, known as Capture Land, and pounced on the persons. 
The police theorize that this incident is in retaliation for last night's loss of life of a man in the nearby Spicy Hill community of Trelawney. Mr. Jarrett, a 38-year-old man also called Connie G, a laborer of Spicy Hill in Duncan, Trelawney, was hurt and lost his life during a shell incident close to 1 a.m. It is said that he is a relative of a man that is involved in a dangerous group that operates in Trelawney. We would like to extend our condolences to the families and friends of the individuals who have lost their lives recently. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Goodbye.